for a little one troy ounce silver round, this thing is incredibly detailed. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about and review my Grim Reaper Silver Halloween Round from Monarch Mint. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, as well as the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in orange, gray, and purple. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I want to talk about this particular piece of silver. This is something that has been on display all month so far. A lot of people during my live streams and in the comment section of my videos have been asking me what in the world is that silver round? Where is it from? What is it? What does it mean? Where did you get it? So I wanted to talk about that today. This right here is the 2018 Grim Reaper Death Halloween Silver Round from Monarch Mint. I picked this up a little over two years ago. I actually picked it up on October 2nd 2018 spot price at the time was only $14 and change I'll put it up on the screen because I have it screenshot from two years ago $14 in change was the spot price at the time and I ended up picking this up for $28 and 75 cents so I pretty much paid about a $14 premium for this particular piece of silver. At the time, I had never done anything like that before. This was my very first piece of silver that carried a higher premium, and I'll get into why that is, and I'll talk a little bit more about the design momentarily. But at the time, all I had stacked were basic generic secondary market silver rounds when spot price was between 13 and $17 with a one, maybe $2 premium, along with some silver eagles and silver maples, spot price being the same thing, but the premiums being one, two, maybe $3 over spot. So I was definitely not used to $14 premiums, and I almost talked myself out of it. I really didn't want to pay that crazy high of a premium for just one troy ounce of silver. Keep in mind, at the time, spot price was not even 15 bucks. And this was almost 30 bucks if you think about it. So I wasn't really sure if I wanted to pay spot plus spot on top of it. I was pretty much paying twice as much as what it was worth in fiat dollars, that is. Now, the current spot price as I'm filming today's video is only $25 and change. So if I were able to get this or really any piece of silver for 28 bucks or so, that would be really, really fair nowadays. It's funny how... The times have changed so drastically, but that's a little bit of a backstory behind how I got the silver round and why I got the silver round. Long story short, I'm just a huge Halloween fanatic. I love Halloween. I love Halloween the way most people love Christmas. It's just my favorite day of the year. I love Halloween. I've always been a huge Halloween fanatic. Anything Halloween, I'm in. And that's what drove me to pick up this particular piece of silver. Now what's interesting about this is limited mintage. I'm going to flip this thing over and show you what's on the other side and then we'll get back to talking about the design. Limited edition. Only 10,000 were minted, which I know is a pretty large number, but the fact that I guess you can say that they're a collector's piece. Now I'm not a collector, so I didn't go and look for the 2017 or the 16 last year in 2019. I didn't check to see if, that, if there were new ones. This year, I have no idea. I did a quick search. I couldn't find any 2020 versions of this particular round. But I do know in the past, they've had different designs. And I believe every year they switch it up. And every year, uh, to my understanding, 10,000 are minted. So that's always fun. Anyway, 
It's a one troy ounce, three nines fine silver round. And I'll zoom in a little bit more. That's as much as I can zoom in, but it has a tree over to the left. It has some gravestones, it looks like. And then over to the right, you can actually see the Grim Reaper with the scythe. And at the bottom, it says limited of 10,000. So only 10,000 are out there. And I have one of those 10,000, which I know doesn't sound like anything special, but I didn't get it for that reason. I got it because I just genuinely liked the way it looked. I mean, look at that right there. Tell me that's not a crazy looking silver round. So the reason I broke this thing out of the safe is because it is after all October, or as I like to say, one of 31 days of Halloween. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, Halloween, November, December. That's the way my calendar works. But it has a really detailed Grim Reaper with the scythe. It has the gravestone in the background. Obviously, is in a cemetery. You can tell by... That's as much as I can zoom in, by the way. I'll bring it up a little bit closer. I'll try to hold it still, but... For a little one troy ounce silver round, this thing is incredibly detailed. I mean, look at that. Holding on to the hourglass. Rest in peace. I believe... Underneath rest in peace, I, I believe that's supposed to say 2018. It has the old creepy tree in the background. It has the moon in the background. It even has a skull on the top of the scythe right there. And then the Grim Reaper's face. Like I said, I'm not a collector. I do appreciate art but I'm not drawn to silver coins rounds and bars for the art but this one I made an exception for I mean look at the detail with the antique finish that's why it looks so dark for example if we were to compare it to a maple leaf just to give you guys a color comparison and that maple leaf is actually a little bit toned. I could probably give you a better example. This silver bar. So overall, I love the way this looks. Huge Halloween fanatic. So this was obviously right up my alley. And I'll give you guys a better look at the other side again, up close. So this came from Monarch Mint. I believe that's what that little logo is. I'm not exactly sure because I got this off of their eBay storefront. Again, October 2nd of 2018. Pretty sure this was the first piece of silver I ever picked up off of eBay. But... Their website is Monarch Precious Metals, which I'm now, just now, realizing. I'm pretty sure that's what that little logo is. It looks like a crown, but it looks like MPM. Monarch Precious Metals, I would assume. One troy ounce, three nines fine silver. Pretty cool looking font, by the way. Creepy scripture. Really dark gray, almost black in the background. And then... Obviously a cemetery. Huge fan of this silver round. And it makes for the perfect video prop or live stream prop to have on the table, which is what I've done all month so far. Limited edition of 10,000. 
So anybody who's been tuning into my videos these last two weeks will know that this has been on the table. I usually have it zoomed out like this with a bunch of silver laid out. And this has been making an appearance in nearly every single video. And I've been saying in my videos and I've been saying during my live streams that this is going to get its own video this year. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about the design, how much I paid over spot, why I got it, the mintage. Zoom in and show you guys how detailed this thing is. Cause sitting on the table, how my normal videos are, it's just kind of over there. We have some silver bars, silver coins, all over the place. But that thing sitting over in the corner, when it's all zoomed out like this, you can tell it's a pretty crazy looking piece of silver, but it's hard to really appreciate just how detailed it is. So I'm glad that I can make today's video. I'm glad that I can actually take the time to focus on this particular piece of silver and show you just how detailed it is and talk about where it came from, why I got it, when I got it. And the funny thing is, like I said, the current spot price as I'm recording the video is like $25 and change. And I picked this thing up two years ago at $28 and change. If I were to pick this thing up today, it's over 60 bucks. I actually did a quick little search for it before and I found other versions of this from different years. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 bucks. The only one that I could find of this particular 2018 design, I'm pretty sure that was the $65 one. So if anybody wants this, not mine, but if anybody wants one like mine, be prepared to fork over $65, which I know most people aren't willing to do but here's the thing. I paid a crazy high premium. Fast forward two years. It's worth a lot more than it was back then. But I guess that's how collectible coins work. Like I said, I'm really not a collector. I don't really collect any particular coins, rounds, or bars from any particular series or set or anything like that. I've never really been drawn to having a coin collection, even as a young child. I had other types of collections, but I didn't really ever have an interest in collecting coins. And present day, same thing goes. I'm still not interested in collecting. I didn't pick this up for collecting purposes. I picked this up just because I love the way it looked. And being a Halloween fanatic, I was actually going to put a dark background, but then I realized the round itself is pretty dark. So it actually shows up a little bit better on a white background since it does in fact have that antique finish. I was gonna put it on top of the gray, don't you dare stop smiling, Halloween tea, friendly reminder. This is limited as well. You can only get this in October. After Halloween, it gets removed from the store, and you will not be able to get it until potentially next October of 2021, if the world doesn't end by then. <laughs> if the Grim Reaper doesn't come for us all, 2020 has been a tough year for everyone. I don't want to tie that into the Grim Reaper holding onto an hourglass, so let me cut myself off there. <laughs> If anybody thinks that this is an interesting looking round, if anybody is a fan of how this looks and it's something that you would get, maybe it's not something you'd pay a crazy high premium for, but if it's something that you actually like the way it looks, head on down to the comments and let me know. If you have one of these, please let me know. So far, over the last two years, I haven't gotten a single comment from anyone saying that they have this exact same silver round. So let me know if you are also one of <coughs> 10,000 who have this particular beautiful piece of precious metal. 
And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my terms. Not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I can read more comments and respond to more viewers in real time. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts, anytime silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. It always gets posted in one spot in the VIP club. I just posted one earlier today. Some of you already capitalized on it. And of course you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited, I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please, Hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to subscribe new videos every single day 365 days a year also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content brand new video over there go check it out the link will be in the description trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers we just hit 1500 and i appreciate that got a brand new video dropping over there tonight and if you guys want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way Please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. By the way, another collectible coin that I picked up, not for collecting purposes. And of course, the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tea available in orange, purple, and gray, only available this month. Get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What do you think of this silver round? Do you have one like it? Do you have one like it but from other years? Do you have this exact silver round? What are your thoughts on just how detailed this beautiful work of art is? Is this something that you could see yourself picking up? Maybe if it weren't such a high premium. Maybe you're willing to pay the high premium. Maybe this is one of those things where it's, you gotta have it. Head on down to the comments and let me know. And if you have any other type of Halloween silver rounds, bars, or even coins, maybe limited edition, low mintage, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.